national team for the upcoming upcoming two qualifiers. Has it been named? In about 20 minutes it will be here. Oh, uh, I'm excited. Um, excited to be back in with the national team and around those guys, and and I'll be very excited to play in uh, my first World Cup qualifying. How important has the I suppose combination of you and Ashton Morgan been to the reemergence of you guys' uh, positions in the national team? You guys seem to have found a good chemistry on that left wing. Yeah, I mean, it, it obviously it helps that off the field we have a very good relationship. So on the field, you know, we're not afraid to communicate with each other, and you know, sometimes. There's times in the game where we don't agree with each other, but at the at the same time, you know, we get on with it, and in the end, we we both agree on what needs to be done. Um, and I think that's what's helping us during the game, and it's, it's it's helping the team a lot too because we're able to win balls in positions that doesn't make the team uh, have to do uh, extra running. Ashton pointed that the doubling up on, on attacking players on the opposition side has been really helpful in terms of your own style of defending. Uh, was that something that Greg Banny maybe told you guys to start doing, or was that something you guys figured out your own? How did that come about? No, that was a team concept that uh, the coaches came up with. Uh, we felt that in this formation, we had there's times where the ball goes to the wing, and we have uh, really good numbers where we can uh, close it down and, and double team. So. I think we'll, we've done a lot of practicing on that. Uh, in the first games, it wasn't it wasn't perfect at all. But um, in these last games, it's been really good. And I think if we continue, it'll only get better. After you guys switch back to the diamond formation, have you found yourself uh, more comfortable in terms of attacking uh, in your own personal game? Yeah, um, I think in the beginning I was a, I was a bit um, I wouldn't say confused, but. Um, <coughs> I overthink a lot in, in that position uh, of times when I can get up the field and when I have to cover. Um, I think after my transition from the bench and then back, uh, I kind of learned maybe sitting from the bench and seeing now what was the proper times to go. And I, I learned a lot from that. So now, yes, I, I am a, a lot more comfortable. I, I know my times when I can go up and, and be aggressive, and I know the times I have to. Uh, uh, hold back and cover for the team. On the first goal um, against San Jose, you found Sebastian with a pretty good angled through ball. I mean, what's that been like now playing with Sebastian? Are you guys feeling more comfortable? Are you spotting him more and more often now? Yeah. Uh, now I know what kind of runs he likes to make. And, and uh, you know, it, 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 sometimes he makes runs that other players don't. So in the beginning, it was kind of hard. And he was frustrating for him because we wouldn't find him. But I think me personally now, I, I see and I know which kind of runs he's making, so I can find him more often, and and it's, it's leading to more goals. And what do you make of the, or does it make your job easier when you have um, Michael Bradley in front and Ben Washeru behind, as opposed to having both those midfielders behind you to look at? I mean, does Bradley open up more space now that you have him in front of you? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, obviously he's a force up there, and he's he's someone that the, the defending team always has to keep an eye on. And so sometimes it takes attention away from me, and I, I try to do the same for them too. Um, teams know that I'm going to come inside and, and look for space, so that maybe that occupies some defending midfielders and it allows Michael to be open. So it, it goes both ways, and and the same on the other side for the guy on the right side. So it, it's a good formation to get all of us uh, in good in good spots. Jonathan, your your team's obviously hitting stride right now. Now you take on the top team in the Eastern Conference this weekend. Do you look at this as an important test to kind of see where you're at against the top teams in the conference? Yeah, um, you know, this weekend's going to be a really good test for us. It's a test that we want, um, you know, against the top team, a team that's been unbeaten at home in 20 or so games. Uh, this is a challenge that we want because uh, it gives us, you know, a chance to see where we are um, at, this, at this stage of the season. And um, we think we are hitting stride. And, and we think uh, we are getting this team at a really good, uh, at a really good time. So if we can get a result, it'll definitely uh, we'll be in a really good spot. What's the mood like in the locker room now when you guys prepare for matches? We're very confident. Um, we're a very confident group. We we know. I think we go into games expecting to win, no matter if for home or away. And um, I think uh, in some games, you know, we, we haven't dominated the way we've wanted to. Um, but in the end, we're getting results, and, and we're getting more chances than the other team to, to score goals. So 
um, we're, we're right now it's very positive in the, in the changing. And has that confidence been, I suppose, the way that you guys have dealt with losing Josie off the door? Because it doesn't seem like you guys really, I mean, for saying it, it doesn't seem like you guys really, really missed him out there. Well, we do miss him. Um, but we know that we have a team with a lot of depth. So, if, you know, whoever it is that goes down, we know if someone can step in and, and get the job done. So, you know, injuries happen. They're, they're part of the game and they're part of the season. And, you know, we, we can't just put our heads down just because one of our best players has gone down. We have to, you know, suck it up and w wait for the other guy to come in. And whoever's coming in has to do their job. And that's, that's what we're all here for. Just circling back to Canada, what's been your impression of uh, Benito since he took over as uh, national team manager? He's been great. Um, I think he's put in a mentality into the players that we've never had before. Um, he's giving us confidence. He's, he's trying to input a confidence in us that we can go out and, and compete against any team. And I think you've seen that in some of the friendlies that we've played. For example, the Columbia game, uh, we were in it. and. And you know, it, it took a really, really nice goal from one of the best players in the world to uh, to beat us. So obviously, we can we can play against the best teams. We know that now, and now it's time to put all this work into uh, into action. Now that the the qualifying is coming, and of course the Gold Cup. These are meaningful games, as you alluded to earlier. And I think it's going to be your first. Is it going to be your first World Cup qualifier? My first World yeah. Cup qualifier. So, yeah. I'm just wondering what the. Uh, what your excitement level is like that to go from friendlies and yeah. high profile friendlies, granted, but these are games that actually mean something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, I, I've played in the Gold Cup already, so I, I mean, I know what it is to play in official games, but this, these are my first World Cup qualifiers, and I'm, sure, I'm sure it's going to be different. And from what I've heard, it is a lot different, especially it's tough going over to the Caribbean and playing in such conditions. Um, so I, I'm excited because it's. It's our first steps now to towards the World Cup in 2018, and and our our objective is to bring Canada back to the World Cup. All right. Thanks, Thank Charlie. you.